Greetings communicators, I'm Kolarele and in this video I am giving the Communicator of the Week award to ITV, that is the British television station uh, ITV, for their production of Mr Bates versus the post office. Now, if you're based in the UK, you will have heard all about this, but if you're not, or you just didn't pay attention, uh, it's this really astonishing story of how the post office uh, prosecuted a whole load of its kind of postmasters, which is what people who run post offices in villages and towns are called, uh, for apparently, in their view, stealing thousands and thousands of pounds uh, of money when in fact it was entirely down to a computer error by them and Fujitsu, which was the company that provided the computer system. They knew it was happening and they prosecuted these people anyway, uh, took thousands of pounds off, their, off them, uh, ruined their lives. Many of them committed suicide. And really it took a kind of 20, 25 year battle before they have just started to get recognition and a little compensation, although it's still ongoing. So ITV did a really wonderful portrayal of this whole drama. Now, I wouldn't normally give a Communicator of the Week award to a television station. It's a little bit weird. But I did for this week for one central reason. It wasn't just because it's a great story, which it is. It wasn't just because it was well acted and well directed, which it was. But for me, it was a, that although it was a great story, the way they approached it was really going all in on the individual characters, the individual personalities, the individual stories of those postmasters, those sub postmasters, as they, as they were called, so that it really made us feel it. It made us understand why they pleaded guilty in some cases, even though they weren't. Uh, why they didn't challenge things, even though they knew they weren't in the wrong, and why they gave up um, fighting the system because the system was oppressing them. When you hear of things like that, it's difficult sometimes to appreciate why people would behave like that unless you really get put into their shoes. And the way ITV and indeed the actors that played those characters did it, I thought was fantastic because it made us understand and live in the moment with them and to see and witness how terrified they were about what was happening, how confused they were about why it was happening, and how they basically felt they had nowhere to go, some pleading guilty, some committing suicide, and nearly all of them paying thousands and thousands of pounds back to the Royal Mail of money that they did not steal. Uh, it was all a computer error. Uh, so really, I think it was a wonderful, um, wonderful drama. And the reason I chose it and I thought it was illustrative for us is because when you are doing storytelling in your own communication, which I urge you all to do, one of the most impactful ways to bring your story alive is to make sure people get a real sense of the characters involved in your story. So don't just say, I had a client, John, who uh, I helped to fix his uh, computer system, <laughs> right? Uh, no, you really let us know who John is, what his struggles were, what his problems were, what what stood in the way of him sorting his problems out, what he stood to lose if he didn't sort his problems out, you know, what his company was, how many people worked there, you know, what his children did because if he didn't sort this out, his children wouldn't have been able to have Christmas that year, whatever it is. You go all in on the characters in your story and that will bring your story alive and make your audience really invested in the outcome. So that's why I chose it for Communicator of the Week. Make sure you use storytelling as part of your communication. And when you do your storytelling, go all in on the characters so that we feel like we know them, we, we understand them, we can see where they're coming from. And that will just infuse your story with much, much greater impact. Uh, as always, when you're ready to start working on your communication, which you really need to be for 2024, a uh, great place to start is with my free communication masterclass, which will be popping up on the screen somewhere. And you'll see the link somewhere else around this page. Uh, check it out and I'll see you next time.